take a look at coaxial cable capacitance. Now, the formula to calculate the capacitance is that capacitance is equal to 2 pi times the permittivity divided by your uh, natural log of the dielectric diameter divided by the conductor diameter. Here's a piece of coax here. This is your conductor. This is your dielectric. You have two metals separated by a dielectric. It forms a capacitor. Now, this uh, permittivity here is a little misleading. When you, if you look in the, your uh, specs on the on the cable, it'll tell you that your permittivity is, is you know 2.25, 2.2, somewhere in that range. You can't use that number up there. You have to multiply that number by the permittivity of a vacuum, which is about uh, 8.8 .8 times 10 to the minus 12. So you multiply these together, and then you can add that in there. Now, this is in uh, Farads per meter. I wanted it in picofarads per foot, so I massaged this formula around a little bit, and I came up with this here. And I didn't use a natural log. I wanted to use log 10. And I took this uh, permittivity into account in this number up here. So uh, if I multiply this all out, uh, you know, here's the uh, the dielectric diameter is 0.114 and the conductor is 0 0.031. I divide that out, take log 10 of that, and divide that into this number up here. It comes out to 29.99 feet per, or picofarads per foot, which I want it in. And if I go to the charts, uh, L, uh, RG58, which I have here, is 29 picofarads per foot, okay? I should have changed this number up here to uh, 2 point, I think it's polyethylene of 2.25, my number would have came out better, but I'm going to test it on a uh, the scope anyway. I'm going to test my capacitance. So, on a oscilloscope, what I did is I have my function generator and I have it set at one kilohertz, and then I have a thousand ohm resistor, and this is going to be my RC time constant here. And so I have my unknown capacitor here, and I have my oscilloscope probe here and the ground probe down here. Now, the reason you know. Uh, most of the time you use a, a one kilohertz for to, for testing capacitors and that works for for most of them now 0.1 microfarad uh, at a thousand Hertz is going to be a, a 1500 ohms which is going to be fine that one microfarad is going to be 156 ohms which is which is good but at 10 picofarad, uh, 10 microfarads it's only going to be down to about 16 ohms so that might affect your uh, your voltage coming in here and load this up too much. So once you go above uh, 10 microfarads, you should probably lower the uh, the, the uh, frequency down, say maybe 220 hertz, and uh, use it like that. But I'm using uh, I'm going to measure in the picofarad range, so a thousand hertz is going to be just fine. Okay. So I set this up, and on the scope, it's going to look like this. Now these are my cursors here. This is at zero volts. This is going to be at uh, this is five volts up here, which the top of the signal, but your RC time constant is going to be 0 0.632 times your your voltage here. Okay, so if I times that out, it comes out to uh, 3.2. So I put a cursor at 3.2 across there, and then I take the start of the signal here and where it crosses that point there, and I have two more cursors there, and it gives me a time, and it happens to be 100 nanoseconds. Okay, so I take my 100 nanoseconds divided by my thousand ohms and it comes out to 100 picofarads now I need a hundred picofarad uh, capacitor for the the um, antenna system I'm making so I actually uh, I cut the cable to 100 picofarad so but it makes the math easier here so here it is on the scope so this is five from this point to this point it's five volts these are one volt divisions here I should have put that in on a line there but it's halfway between and halfway up there and um, this this is my time constant here this is where I'm, the uh, uh, 6.32 is times the five here and here's my time constant here, which happens to be a uh, hundred uh, nanoseconds right here okay so and this is a uh, 3.2 volts up up to this point right here this one here and this is 100 nanoseconds right here so I just have to divide those out and I come up with my uh, 100 uh, picofarads okay so 
that's how you uh, you can uh, measure the capacitance with an oscilloscope. Comes out pretty accurate. And uh, that's it. That's the capacitance of coax cable. I'm going to use this one for a uh, actual uh, capacitor. I'm going to use it on a um, on an antenna system I'm making. I needed 100 picofarads, and it happens to be about three feet long. So that's uh, coaxial cable capacitance. Thank you.